All right, guys, Christmas is here. Dancers in the house. We're gonna give you something that your relatives will be talking about for years to come. So stick around. Up next is our beef tenderloin, Tom Pequena. And it's a gift. Feliz Navidad. I've got a beef tenderloin on the board, Sam. What we're gonna do is uh, there's silver skin on here. This, you see that part that's kind of like, looks like silver skin? Yeah, shiny. This is fat that comes right off the top of it. What we wanna do is get right under that and cut off as little meat as possible. So once you're under it, you kind of angle your knife up. See that? Yeah. And then where it breaks, that's kind of where it ends. It gets super get, tough me, up let here. Let me get a little shot of that. Here's the idea. Oh. And we're about to show you guys the difference between a professional. <laughs> no, you did great. Okay, on my turn, we'll just take turns. <laughs> I'm gonna trim a little fat out of here. And then what we have for the tenderloin, this is like the head of the tenderloin. Down here, we're gonna fold this tail under. We wanna kinda get it so that it's a similar consistency all the way through. Might be a little thin in here, but that's gonna be all right. And in order to hold that all, we're gonna use some headphones. Pod. Yeah. Some iPhone uh, Headphones. earbuds. <laughs> okay, so I'll go under here. I'm gonna tie a knot there. I'll just do a double knot. Does that work? Okay. Now I'll come up under here, then pull the string through, and then we're gonna try to make a nice little pattern all the way down. So now we've got this. If you can grab that sheet pan for me with the piece of parchment, the top one. So I'm gonna rub this with olive oil. And then we got chichaco taco. This is like a, it's kind of like a Mexican spice blend. It's not just any Mexican spice, it's probably the best Mexican spice blend on the planet, right? Do you make these all here? Yeah, we make them all in house. All right, well, let's throw this on the sheet pan right there. We're gonna go in the oven. I'm going 450 until it reads 125 right in the middle, maybe right about here, 125. All right, okay. let's get it. All right guys, up next we got uh, Christmas Pico, right? I mean, think green, red, a little purple in there. Not sure how that relates, but green and red for sure. Absolutely. So we're gonna use this bowl. Uh, I want you to dice these guys for me. What I would do is I usually cut on the side of the core and then just hit that baby out just like that. And the rest of it's fair game. Are you gonna treat something like this very similarly to the to the onion in terms of like dicing it? Um, no, these don't really hold together, so I just kind of will do this, this, stack them, and you can stack them or do them individually, however yeah. you want to do it. But something about cool. that. I'm gonna dice the red onion to a similar size. All right, go ahead, tomato in the bowl. That onion's getting me a little bit, huh? Can you? Can I've you gotten I. I've gotten it a couple times. And then here. All right, juice boy. Give Oops. me those two. Little jalapeno, because a lot more seeds in here. Back half gets rowdy, huh? Yeah. Stay away. So we only got a couple here. And some cilantro. That sound right? Mm -hmm. All that. You want to grab a spoon down there and start stirring that baby up. All right, so here, check this out. I'm gonna smash this baby, put a little salt on here, and then use my blade. Cool. And this way we get a good spread. Think about it. Do you want a garlic chunk, or do you just want like a hint of garlic? Oh man, and probably just like, you're like massaging all those oils out of there too. Exactly. Boom. I'm gonna call that good, you like it? Okay. We'll set this aside, and then let's talk about what is the tampicana? They usually do carne asada, then they'll saute up some shrimp, a la diabla, al mojo de ajo, something like that. Throw it on top, some cheddar cheese, and then they'll throw that in the oven and melt it. Oh, we so about to do the same thing? Yeah, All right. We're going for. So our meat's in the oven, that's our steak. Shrimp is up next, so. Should we bring the heaters out? Let's bring the burner in. Feliz Navidad. All right, what do you guys think? Man, show it to him, huh? Give him a close good or what? Up. Go ahead and do this. Give it a little squeezy. Anyhow, we're gonna let that rest while we throw together our shrimp. All right, okay. pay it on. That. Fire that baby up. Man, it's gonna be hard to focus with that thing around. <laughs> It'll be over soon. You wanna salt and pepper that top layer of that shrimp for me. All right, I'm just gonna mince up, what is this? Maybe five, six cloves of garlic. We're just gonna toast the garlic in the olive oil. Boom. 
season that top side. And we'll kind of sear, I'll get this juice on there. Kind of juice! That in. So let's get into this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it down under here. Look at that, look at that. You don't leave any get them all out. headphones in your loin. Or like big hair. <laughs> There's a piece of hair. All right, so this is gonna be the rarest side. Let's scrimp it. Kind of in and on and around. And we had the discussion about the cheese, didn't we? Yeah, so just like, about it? I, I didn't know at first if it really like, I was like, I don't know if that's a good, you know, representation of us. And it was just kind of like, hey man, it's the holidays. Holidays, baby. Lighten up a little bit. Have a little bit of cheese. If you guys don't want cheese, obviously just leave it off. You go cheese on the side, you could get some cheese whiz. I know, I was, right? be like next <laughs> I was talking about it like I didn't like cheese. I don't like it. Look at this. <laughs> We're gonna go with the cheese. Not a ton, right? Just a nice little layer. Throw this back in the oven. I'm gonna say two minutes. Melt it down. We'll sauce it with this. Pico on top. Merry Christmas. All right, what bro. are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> Christmas is here again. Happiness and cheer. Now, how about our Christmas Pico? All right, dancer. Uh, what do you think, bud? Wow. Gus heated up. We got oh, our man. craft skills on, our artistic ability. A little, it's almost like a cilantro Christmas wreath. Dude, this surf and turf meatloaf is just <laughs> absolutely out of control. <laughs> All right, dancer, nice work, bud. Thanks Love for it, helping man. me out. I got to get out of this sweater. So uh, you guys give the Tampicania a try. It's just an alternative protein for your holiday family gathering. From me and mine to you and yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.